Hello there guys, my name is Kurt Shadong, Snowball and Bob Belt for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is from Gulliver's World Warrington and this is all about a brand new expansion that's set to be coming to Warrington's Gulliver's Park. Now this, this hasn't been given the green light yet, however we're going to be talking about the plans that have been unveiled and also whether I think it'll be given the green light or not. So before you get started, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share this with your friends, family, and on social media. Make sure you go and watch back on all the old videos uh, while we've been on this lockdown period. I've redone the thumbnail. Uh, for some of the old 2018 videos, in fact all the 2018 videos now, so you can go and check all of them out in the 2018 theme park newsroom playlist. And of course, make sure you keep getting your questions in, I'm going to put the word on Instagram again, uh, the Q&A session will be coming, um, I am going to film it next week, so I'm going to give you guys six days uh, left to uh, get those questions in, I'm going to put the word out on Instagram starting uh, tomorrow we'll have five days left, just five days left until the Q&A filming. Um, and for now guys, let's get into this video. So, let's start by telling you guys about all the details on this new plan for Gulliver's World Warrington, this new expansion plan. So, as talked about on the article Place Northwest, Gulliver's World, which owns and operates four theme parks across the country, has submitted an application for a 15-acre expansion into Woodland next to its Warrington site under the Gulliver's Gla Glade brand. Uh, the Gulliver's Glade brand has been created to lead the next steps into the holiday accommodation market and compete with established holiday brands such as Centre Parks, according to the project's planning consultancy, County Planning. The current Gulliver's World is located north of Warrington off Sha Shackleton Co uh, Co Close, <laughs> it's hard. Uh, between Old Hall, Westbrook, and Callans. The expansion plans are split into two main parts a woodland retreat comprising 79 woodland chalets built off site and delivered to the park, and a woodland activity zone featuring a spa and a pet resort. The woodland activity zone will give access to a series of nature trails connected to the nearby Sankey Valley Park and Woodland Trust Land. The application also proposes 151 car parking spaces to be used by guests and staff and 3,200 square foot staff headquarters building. Gulliver's estimates that the expansion would generate an additional £1.2 million for the local economy each year. The group operates four theme parks in Warrington, Milton Keynes, Matlock Bath and of course the new one coming to Rotherham, attracting a total of over a million visitors each year. Similar expansion plans have already been approved at the Rotherham site. The Warrington Park opened back in 1989 and includes rides, soft play centres, a water park and activity areas together with a 58 suite hotel. Uh, so that's just a little bit of background information for those of you who have no idea about this park. Uh, for those of you who need a bit of an update in terms of what rides and attractions they have at this park, uh, Gulliver's uh, Warrington uh, specifically is not that bad of a, a park to be honest. Um, in terms of coasters, they are set to apparently open a spinning car family coaster uh, this year, but of course with the current situation, I'm not exactly sure that that's going to be the case, unfortunately. Um, now, of course, their main draw is, of course, the Antelope, which was in 1995. That's their Alot and Lomax designed wooden coaster. And, of course, they've got their Pinfire Big Apple back in 2013, known as Wriggler. Uh, so they've already got two coasters. They're set to apparently open three, so it looks like that one will probably be similar to Twist and Shout, which is an SBF Visa spinning coaster. Um, and it's apparently it's supposed to open this year, so you've got this new coaster apparently set to come to the park when any time it reopens this year and of course you've got these new expansion plans now now these expansion plans are very good and this is the one thing I love with Gulliver's Parks Gulliver's theme parks really do like to look after the environment they think of all the kids and all ages and, and the family fun that's the whole brand with the park is family fun uh, and I like how they've uh, implemented that family fun into the woodland planning with the county planning uh, and the Gulliver's Glade brand uh, that's focused on the holiday accommodation side of things like the centre parks type resort type things um, and I like how they're competing with centre parks here I like how they're going to sort of implement the, the, the Glade brand and sort of compete uh, with centre parks now Gulliver's Parks obviously has a bright bright future I'm sure we're going to see a couple of more Gulliver's Parks around the country 
Uh, now, this would open the question, what about the other parks already open in the chain? And also, what about future Gulliver's Parks? Are they going to use the Gulliver's Glade branding involved in future parks and the current parks that don't already own woodland accommodation or woodland activity zones? And my answer to that would be yes. I think we're going to see plenty more of these Gulliver's Glade branding uh, expansions uh, to compete with centre parks. I think we're going to see a lot more of them across the Gulliver's brand. I think we're going to see more Gulliver's parks uh, invest in this kind of stuff. I think you know, places like Ireland, Wales, Scotland, I'd like to see them open Gulliver's parks and have that kind of Gulliver's Glade branding expansions. And I do believe that uh, we're going to see more of them. Now, of course, involved in those is a Woodland Activity Centre. Now, of course, we don't exactly know what, uh, for sure what companies are going to be involved in terms of constructing the Woodland Activity Zones, like the spa, uh, the pet resort. That sounds very exciting. Um, so it should be uh, an interesting one to, uh, to have a little peep inside. Uh, now, of course, with Gulliver's World Warrington, I'm not sure exactly what other future attractions I could see at the park. I mean, there's a couple of really good family-based attractions that I could, could think could work at the park. Um, those of you who know the Flying Scooters, they're a good family attraction. Um, you know, many things like that. Um, there's plenty of Zamperla family rides that I think could work at the park as well. Uh, so I do believe that that could be a potential option, maybe. Um, it should be interesting to see the future of Gulliver's World Warrants. I think on the back of these expansion plans, the fact that they're set to you know raise over, and, and the, the fact that the the parks overall gain about a million a year attendance overall across all the parks and everything, and the fact that this is going to sort of boost the economy by over one million, just over one million pounds a year um, from this expansion alone. Uh, I think they've got a real, real prize winner here. Uh, I think they've got a real prize winner because not only does it look after the nature side of things, but it also accumulates the family fun atmosphere uh, that Gullivers are branding themselves and the fact that Gullivers are sort of using themselves with. Uh, so it should be interesting to see what happens with this. If there's a future, future expansion uh, on the Woodland Activity Zone or the holiday ac accommodations, um... Obvious, or any more expansions on Gulliver's Parks like Warrington. Obviously, we'll bring you the latest updates. Um, so, yeah. So, that is the latest updates on Gulliver's World Warrington. I want you to leave your comments down below as to what you guys think of this. Um, me, personally, I think it's a good move. Like I said like I said throughout this video, it's a good move for, in my opinion. Um, so, there we go. So, that is the latest updates then on Gulliver's World Warrington. So, a, bit of, a little bit of channel updates. Uh, Camcorder is set to come on Saturday uh, via post. <laughs> um, if it comes sooner or later, I'll let you know. Uh, and like I said before, Q&A video set to be filmed in about, in about uh, six days' time. Uh, so, by tomorrow, you'll know it'll be five days left until the Q&A video is set to go up. Uh, so, I am waiting until the new camcorder comes before filming the uh, official Q&A video. So, um, obviously, if it comes after Saturday, there it all, re it all rests on Saturday, doesn't it? It all rests on Saturday when this new camcorder comes. So, um, hopefully it should, and the Q&A video should be up in um, six days, well, six or seven days time. But the the deadline for your questions is six days time. So in six days time, that's the deadline for your questions. Seven days and seven or eight days until the video goes up. Uh, so very interesting news there from Gulliver's World Warrington. That was just a bit of channel updates as well, just to update you guys what's happening with the channel. Uh, obviously, like I said before, as you'll have seen, uh, we've been rebranding our old videos, our old news updates from 2018 with the new logo. Uh, that new logo will come into effect with that thumbnail design in 2021. Uh, so, obviously, by 2021, we're going to need a new intro for Newsroom and all, and all the rest of the videos as well. The Halloween intro, I think I'm going to keep it the same as last year, this year. Um, I'm going to keep it the same as last year because I think it's just too much kerfuffle bringing in a new intro. But if I am, I'll let you know. Uh, and I think the same with Christmas as well. We'll just see what happens with that. Uh, but we're nowhere near Halloween and Christmas yet. We're still in the spring. <laughs> uh, we're getting closer and closer to the summer, even though it doesn't really feel like a summer holiday, unfortunately. But hopefully this lockdown will end 
sooner than later and we'll be able to get out there get back out to them theme parks and get back to enjoying ourselves uh, so thank you very much for this theme park news updates from Gulliver's World Warrington uh, make sure you like comment subscribe and click the notification bell see you next YouTube video and for now guys my name is Coach Chow keep on the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day